Good afternoon Planet YouTube. It is quarter past one in the afternoon on Tuesday the 23rd of April and it is time for today in my bujo. really hot. As I said it's quarter past one, I've been out walking more or less constantly for the past four hours and it hurt. I dropped the dog off and I went to some sharpen, I grabbed a quick bite to eat and then I walked back to pick the dog up and so yeah I've had to sit down because it hurts. Right um so there you go I did my word, my night face cream and my hands. Tell it's summer, my hands are swollen and they hurt. Did I do that last night? Yes I did. Oh yes, I need to write that. 25 281 or 10.5 Zero five miles. Oh, I did the dishwasher, but I didn't like wipe everything down, so I need to get on with that really and give the kitchen a good blitz. Cancel the vet. Yeah, okay, right. Let's see <sighs> what bills got paid. Oh, excuse me. I had to sit down for a bit, I was aching so much. And there's the electric, there's the gas. the water. Right, that's good. So they've all been paid. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh, not just today's page. I quite like that, how that came out. All right, let's change the pen and then we'll do the drawing bit. God, you know what's like when you just suddenly stop and your brain and your body just go Ugh. yeah that's what I feel like so hey you guys loved Daryl's journaling yesterday <laughs> oh dear oh yeah so much fun overcast but there it says it's clear <laughs> oh man partly cloudy and then overcast for the evening. <sighs> it has been sort of a weird cloudy all afternoon. It's a day really. So it's a high of 20 and a low of 11. Sun came up at 5 to 6 and it will be going down at 12 minutes past 8. So there you go. Oh, sorry. Oh. I've done day face cream and makeup today. Time I started looking for new challenges, isn't it, for next month? Got to do the car today. Oh, I'm too tired. Can't focus today. Okay. 
yeah I didn't get to sleep till really late you know I said yesterday in the um about how long it takes to film edit export it and upload it and all that lot um yesterday you might have noticed there was a section where the video froze that file there corrupted and it freaked my software out and my software kept shutting down and um Every it took me from about quarter to midnight until quarter to two to get the file to behave, to edit it, to save it, and then upload it to YouTube. I was so tired by the time I went to bed. And as a result, I'm going to bed early tonight. I need to go to bed early tonight. really want to finish watching like Jessica Jones and that but I am absolutely done for so I'm gonna go in the other room with my son watch a bit of wrestling and then I'm gonna go and crash out right I've done the loo I've done the laundry oh man I ticked off everything in yesterday's pen didn't I in the weekly one I just realized that oh well shit Yeah, I ticked off all that with a black pen. Oh well, so I know what it means. Okay. So we need to do today. Oh, sorry. That time. Right. Oh yeah, it's got squidding shit in it. I've got up the tree. or something it might be cloudier but it's certainly hot today <sighs> anyway right that's it so far um, I don't even know what the prompts are a bee you can do a bee you grow girl with the letters and a magnolia Oh, they're not too hard, I don't think. I don't know if I've ever drove it, drawn one before. <sighs> right. Bees I can do. I did a whole mood tracker that was bees once. So I've just got to look up how to do a magnolia. That's it, that's easy peasy, I reckon. Okay, I'll get that sketched up and then I'll be back for the evening edition a bit later on. Hope you're having a great day. See you then. Welcome back to the evening edition. Have you had a good day? I hope so. Um, I filmed my. Oh look, how wonky am I? Um, I filmed the bit that you've just watched, and then I was going to edit it so that my editing tonight wouldn't be quite so long. And um, I fell asleep here, and I, I fell asleep like this. And I woke up. It literally like I dozed off for like a minute, and I was like, "This is ridiculous." And then I, was, I thought, "Well, I've got." you know, just over half an hour until I've got to leave to pick up Daryl. So I went and sat in the other room on the sofa and conked out for 10 minutes. I had to, I needed it. It's now 8.40 p.m. Um, I'm gonna do this and I'm going to bed. I am shattered, absolutely cream cracker. When you see my steps, you'll understand why. So what are these, you might be asking me? Well, I um, had a couple of photos and I thought, well, I wanna stick them in, but, um. <laughs> I didn't want to do big ones because, you know, I'm kind of limited on space. Um, I may have to look into getting a slightly smaller stencil because this takes up so much room. And um, I want to get more arty. I want to do more art. Um, I'm quite inspired by um, My Life Mitts. Does anybody else watch Mitts? Um, she works in a Hobonichi, um 
she calls it techo i think it's actually techo but i, I, don't, I don't know she calls it hobby techo and it's it's a5 size and every page she does is just so full of art and and it's it's quite cool and, and i want to do more art journaling i keep talking to wendy about scrapbooking and 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 shit like that do you know what i mean and i want to fill my little books up with stuff so i'm thinking this is taking up a good third of my page which means i've either got to start writing over it which hasn't always worked well because sometimes the ink doesn't dry as well I did it a few times, I did actually write over it a few times, but it's still a third of my page that I'm taking up, and if I've got a lot of photos, they're not all going to fit. So I came up with this idea today that I did this on one sprocket sheet, and then I just cut them out, and these are just little mini itty bitty photos. I just went to the groomers today, and I was trying to get a photo, they've put a bow on her ear, and I was trying to get a photo of it, and she was totally like, I'm not cooperating because I don't know what you want. So yeah. That was Daryl yesterday, and he was playing with my um, washi tapes. Because um, I've got the ones that I've used for my May setup over here, because I plan on using them in the weeklies as well. And um, he was he was playing, pretending they were a car or something yesterday. That was this morning. He's been on holiday for the last two weeks. And so I got a bit stuck to me, I'm trying to get rid of him. Yeah, he's been on holiday for the last two weeks, and every morning he's woken me up at like 7 o'clock every morning. <laughs> this morning. At half past seven yeah he was asleep and then while i was out walking i passed this field that was absolutely full of like bluebells and other really 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 pretty little flowers so i just thought you know what and i took a photo because it just looks so pretty so i just want to scatter these about here so i i collaged them using um the app is called scrapbook I don't like pit collage because it watermarks down in the corner. Um, so I used a scrapbook and printed them out and they did four to a page and they've all printed out exactly the same size, see? And because it's on zinc paper, I've just got to peel the backing off. I just cut them out. So that's all I've done. So I'm just going to put them just there because I've got a few things to do before we can continue. See, that? I mean, that's the size of it and, and that, you know, again, that takes up quite a lot of space a big one doesn't it so you know we'll see I don't have a lot to write today so I'm, I'm just experimenting really I mean I dropped Daryl off and I just went out for a walk I took the dog down to the groomers and you know stuff like that so it's been warm I am as you can see getting redder <laughs> so right day free screen I wore some makeup the challenges are ready I've not had booze fizzy I haven't had any fizzy today yay me no fizzy no that's why I'm so bloody tired no chips uh, I stalled it did you craft no I haven't crafted so there we go that looks very very similar to that one it's just ever so slightly bluer right I had a friend message me earlier on and she said I've sort of been hinting that things were a bit crap for me lately and um, that they hoped that I was okay. Um, yes, basically, uh, I'm absolutely fine. Um, I don't want to say too much because it does involve somebody else and it's not my business to spout this all over the internet. But um, I had to remove myself from a situation that was affecting my mental health. I have now done that. And um, as a result, well, you can see, I've been a lot happier. You know, I didn't want to remove myself from the situation. And I'm sad that that has ended. But it had to be done for my own peace of mind as well as, you know... As well as Daryl's, really, because you know it had to be done. So there you go. So today, yes, again, my mood has been up here. I'm I'm at a nice balance now. You know, I'm prootling along quite happily. Um, I don't really want anything from anybody at the moment. You know, sometimes you seem to spend your whole life 
chasing people. And I was getting a bit overwhelmed recently because Daryl's only at preschool three days a week, it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And um, so he's at home with me Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And um, the only thing that I was actually doing that was 100% for myself was going to get my nails done. And I only get that done every three weeks, as you know. And I, I was getting overwhelmed, I suppose. Um, I was getting no time for me. On Mondays, um, I would usually shop and run around doing the 110 things that I needed to do on a Monday. Tuesdays I was spending with my partner because he had appointments and, you know, he wasn't able to drive and all of that lot. So I would run around after him. And then Wednesdays uh, have always been dedicated to my mum since she quit driving. Um, she's had to quit driving. She's got macular degeneration. Um, and I always joked and said to her, um, if I ever judge you unsafe, I'm gonna take your bloody license away. And um, we started spending Wednesdays together a year or two ago. And then um, she sort of said to me, my license is up for renewal, but I never go anywhere unless you drive me now. Is it worth me renewing it? Because when you're over a certain age in the UK, you have to renew your license every 10 years. It's a lot easier to do it here than it is in the US. Over there, you've got to have eye tests and stuff, I believe, you know? No, here in the UK, you just send off a fee and a up-to-date passport photograph. That's it. There's no, te there's no medical test, there's nothing like that. And I said to her, well, to be honest, mum, you know, I personally don't think you're safe anymore. And she said, well, no, you know, she said, I'm not comfortable driving anymore. So as long as you're happy to play chauffeur. So I said, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So, um, yeah, she basically gave up her license. So I don't feel obligated to do it. And she, she does. It's not like she sort of hits me up every day going, oh, can we go here? Can we go here? Can we go here? You know, she sort of once a week, I go down on a Wednesday and, um, You've heard me sort of talk about the house that we rent out. She lives in that house as well. She's got one of the rooms in the house as well. Um, and um, I go down, I clean. I call it the big house. Um, it's the house I raised my children in. It's like a big five bedroom old house. And um, it, it, it's massive. So I go down and I clean the, the communal areas down there. You know, the shared areas, the, the bathroom the toilet and sort of gives the kitchen a one so she tends to keep the kitchen going but she can't get up the stairs anymore so I go down and do that and then we go out and I said you know where do you want to go and she said, oh usually it's the garden centre or B&Q uh, that's a DIY store to people in the US um, and we go out and she does whatever shopping she wants to do and, and that's it and she very very rarely and I'm talking like I could count it on less than one hand how often she has asked for an extra day for me to run her somewhere, you know? And ordinarily it's been like, oh, could we do so-and-so? Uh, well, I'm free on Friday. Oh, well, no, I'm quite happy to wait till Wednesday. No, I'm not doing anything Friday, Mum, I'll, I'll run you out then, you know? It's been that. It's not been, oh, could you do it on that day? It's been, you know, so on and so forth. So, um... So yeah, my Wednesdays are sort of dedicated to her. So yeah, Tuesdays were with my boyfriend and... What the colour that in yesterday's pen? It's Tuesday, isn't it? Yes. It must have just come out dark. Um, yeah, so... Um, Chuck cups in the fridge ready for the bin to go out. So yeah, I basically then got to the point where I had no free time for me. And that was tiring. And after a while I thought, well, this is silly. So I put my foot down only, only recently and said from now on, Mondays are mine. And no, I'm not doing any appointments. I'm not doing any running about for anybody. When, uh, Mondays are mine but I was still quite stressed out so I like I say sorted a few things out and 
did what I had to do. And since then, yes, I am feeling much happier, much more me. Um, I cancelled Elsa going to the vet, which is what I needed to do. Yeah, I feel much more like me, I suppose. You know, I'm happy mooching along in my own little world. The only things I am now obliged to do, like I say, is just the Wednesday with my mum. And um, that's cool, you know. My partner and I broke up. Sorry, excuse me. My partner and I broke up a couple of weeks ago. Um, due to lots of reasons. He and I have known each other since I was 13. Um, this is actually our second relationship. We dated, gosh, what, 12, 13 years ago now. So yeah, there have been a few changes lately. Much needed changes, I think. Okay. Anyway, that's enough about that. We've got a magnolia to draw. Oh, I've got a hand. I've got to draw magnolia and... And what was the other thing? A bee! A bee! Draw a little bee just... That's my little bee. <laughs> right, now I've just remembered, because I coloured in the earth and pencil yesterday, didn't I? And I don't want that to transfer. Hmm, that might do it. Okay, I'm using my Polychromos by Faber-Castell. Um, oh, a light magenta and pink madder lake, it says. I'm trying to um, use my pencils now. Cobalt green. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's not very good, is it? Oh well, it's okay. It's okay. My watercolours were shit when I first started there as well. So, you know. Thing is, is if I persist with them, I'll get better. Punctuation is important. Otherwise, you'd all be thinking I was pregnant or something. Right, so I'm going to scatter my little photos. I've got a pokey tool. So I'm going to post my little photos. I'm just going to scatter them about randomly. Just around the corners. I'm sure you know. I think I'll leave them today. I might put that in yesterday's actually, because I did actually take it yesterday. And I have got room to just stick it down there in the corner. So, <laughs> I know you probably can't read it. I wrote sleepyhead under that one. Spring for that one. And been to the groomers for that one. <laughs> it's a bit of fun, isn't it? So, yeah. Buzzed. It's my phone. Bummy. 
Right, that's it. I am going to now write a little bit, do a little bit of journaling, just to say, you know, what I've been up to today. Um, need a word for today, don't I? Oh, I think I didn't do yesterday's word either. What did? What can I put in for yesterday? too much. did the chores and that was it, wasn't it? Make the lawn and <laughs> all of that lot. Um, I wrote lawn the week before, on Sunday. Uh, it's quite hot yesterday, wasn't it? It was hot yesterday. Alright. What's that job job? Don't just leave it there. Put it away, woman. The whole reason for getting this part was so that I didn't make as much of a mess. Right, today the word is going to be walking. That's the word for today. Hope you can see that. So let's just quickly colour in that I've done today's word. Okay, right, that's it. <laughs> I'm going to uh, go and um, have a hot bath and I'm going to go to bed. I'm tired, exhausted. Please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. All the thumbs, all the thumbs. Leave me a comment. We love comments on this channel. Daryl will tell you that any single time he's here. Which is going to be less now that he's back at school, thankfully. <laughs> but yeah, leave a comment. All comments got a like, a love, or a written reply. Um, if you click the book, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified YouTube willing when I upload new content. And I upload near enough every day. Thank you so much for joining me today. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and I'll see you on Wednesday's edition of Today in my Bujo. Bye.